So Google have released a new Google Maps app for the iPhone, which replaces the one that disappeared and went for the Apple Maps instead. Here you can see I'm now in the app. Tapping down the bottom here on that arrow will allow me to see my current location and will take me directly to it. I have a search at the top and just on the side here, if I tap just there on those three dots, gives me other options which we'll come back and look at in just a moment. So to do a search, I just simply type in it can be, say, a particular landmark or place of interest. It can be an address, it could be a postcode, and that's taken me to Big Ben there. It's showing me down here that it would take me 45 minutes by car from my current location. Tapping here will show me more information. I can look to see more photos. I can go back. I can see the street view. So, these are all the things that you can do that you couldn't really do before. Tapping at the top here will take me back. You can call in if there's a telephone number, save it and share it. Saving it, you need to be signed in. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And down here, you've got reviews from other people. So this could be a restaurant or something like that. Tapping there on that car would actually show me the route. So I can actually do it also when it's down here. You can see it says 45 minutes there, and it's got a little car icon. Tapping on it gives me other options such as the car. I can also choose public transport or walking, so I can change it there. It's going from my current location to Big Ben, and it's showing me all the options, and I can tap on the one that I want. But what if it's not from my location that I want? So I just simply tap on my location. So maybe I'm going from Buckingham Palace Road, well, let's say Buckingham Palace Gates, or rather Buckingham Gates, and you can see it's 13 minutes walking. Tap on that option and it shows me the routes. You can see there's another route there. Tap on that, it shows me that, and then tells me how long that's going to take. I can then tap on preview. So now you can tap here to take you forwards. And you can go backwards as well by tapping here. So you can see your route and plan it out. I can tap on back, I can cancel that, and I could start again with something else and that closes it there. So my other options are this little picture here that's posted like a person. Tap on that. By signing in I can now save. Another important thing is some people may not want their location details sent to Google which could help with traffic and things like that. Let's just go back here onto terms and privacy and you could switch it off here, location data collection, which I'm gonna do. So back to the maps and you have these options down here, these three dots, just gonna tap on them. If I want to see traffic, I tap on that and you can see this line here is indicating that there is traffic there. I can see public transports as well. They're indicated on here as well. If I tap on it again, go to satellites, I get my satellite view. So you've got to turn them on and off one at a time. So I'm just going to tap back on that. Google Earth launches the Google Earth app. And if you haven't got it loaded, it takes you to the app store. So tapping on that turns that off. Tapping on that turns that off. Tapping on that turns that off. So that is a quick look at the new Google Maps app